What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the MSR Workshop. I'm your host, Adam Unsall. If you haven't already, be sure and hit that like and subscribe button and the little bell for all of the notifications and video content that I drop. So on today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our series that we've been doing, and that's called Wixify Your Shop. What that is, is it's a term that I have created to mean that we are gonna be installing as many Wixy digital readout gauges on our tools as we can find. So last week we did one on the router table, we installed a Jessa Master R Lift, and then we installed the height gauge. The height gauge really allows you to dial in that router table and bit for the exact precise height. So today we are installing one on the table saw. Yes, we're going to install, a, this is a universal fence, it's not really expensive, I think it runs around $100 on Amazon. I'll make sure I throw the link in the description below, but we're going to be installing it on a saw stop. This will go all the way out to a 60 inch fence, so if you've got a nice long table saw, um, or even a short one, this will work for yours. So stick around and we'll show you how we get this installed. So one of the best parts about any build is the unboxing. Just opening the box always makes me feel like it's Christmas time. So first box we opened is our reader itself. So go ahead and set that to the side. And this is a heavy box. These are all our mounting brackets. There is a number of different mounting brackets. Because this is meant to be a universal mount, it is meant to fit on a number of different types of saws. Pretty much universally fit on every type of saw that there is. You may have to do a little fiddling with some brands of saws, but for the most part, there should be a bracket in this box that will work with your saw. So these are real important here. Be careful with these. These are actually what our reader reads, um, and that will give us our special angles here. And there's two of them for the full length of our table. So now we're going to go ahead and put this in. This is the bar that joins the two rails together. So we have a bag of screws. There's four of these, so we'll just lightly put these in. So I forgot to mention on each one of these, you need to have a washer in between so you can bolt this down. So next what we're going to do is, because it's a custom install, is we have to drill a hole that will, is big enough for these pan head screws to fit inside. So if you look, there is a number of grooves. We are drilling one that looks like the dovetail here. So it doesn't matter where you drill them, I'm just going to space them um, two on each one because we have a total of four because we're using all of them and just to get them through to this rail, and then we'll poke a hole with the drill bit that they supplied to run these through and into the table. All right, so here is the part where I start drilling, and this is a really weird drill bit. It's a 35-64. Don't ask me where I got that bit, but it fit exactly for those pan head screws. Now this bit here is one that's supplied in the kit, and this is exactly meant to thread those machine head screws. So the next part now is here I'm assembling it, sliding that T-Track back into those two rails and getting them good and tightened down. And I believe I used a 10 millimeter wrench to get those tightened down. And what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that it slides back and forth and there's no ridges between those two jointed parts of the uh, the rail so it doesn't get hung up on anything. So next I'm using some clamps to clamp it to the base here after I've drilled them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that first the distance is right 
and then I'm going to take a little sharpie marker and mark the holes that I've pre-drilled on the bar to then drill on the uh, base of the rail for the saw stop. This part I had my son help me just to kind of collect some of the metal shavings because I just really hate metal shavings all over the place and they seem to get everywhere. Um, they're not very much fun to step on at all. So we had a total of four to drill. It wasn't too terrible bad. I was afraid that this uh, saw stop tubing was going to be quite thick and difficult to drill, but it actually turned out to be eh, fairly easy to drill. It's just nice to, to have somebody extra to help you, especially uh, especially your kids. You know, I want to make sure that my kids appreciate woodworking and get out in the shop and help me as much as they can. We went ahead and bolted it down to the table with those provided screws in the kit. So now once we've got this bolted on, um, this is the very last thing that we're going to install. We've checked placement, we've slid this on, and it fits perfect. It doesn't bind up anywhere. It slides easy. So what we're going to do now is install this, and this is our reader track. There is an arrow on this that says up, but if in doubt, the little squares go with the bottom, and the little lines point upward almost like an arrow. So we'll peel off one side, and then I'll show you how to align the next track. And there's a special alignment track that's specifically for getting these two sides lined exactly straight. So next we're going to use this little key. This goes in these little holes here and helps you line the second track. So once again, making sure that the track is pointing up, we will peel off the backing. Put the key in the two little holes and then press it on all the way down and then remove the key. So now comes the fun part. So we've got everything attached. We went ahead and cleared off the table, put the rail back on, slid this guy on. We haven't put batteries in it yet. But now we're going to use this bracket. And if you've ever watched anybody else's videos, um, there's one other video on YouTube that installs this on a saw stop. They use this bracket. All they do is take this little guy off. That is going to mount right here. This flat surface contacts the built-in magnet and allows that to slide when the table saw fence moves. So let's go ahead and cut this off. I'm going to cut it off off camera and we'll be right back. So one quick thing that I forgot to mention is this tab is too long, so you need to cut it off about halfway, maybe just a little bit less, because um, when you bolt this on, it'll end up hitting right here, so you don't want to do that. So just cut this off right here. All right, we're back. So we've cut the little tab off, and now we're going to go ahead and take this bolt off and install it on there. All right, the last part is to raise your saw blade up till the blade is just barely scraping the fence because when you turn it on, actually there's a little bit of flex in the blade. That flex will disappear and you will be right kind of where you need to be. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. And it takes two AAA batteries and so to set our absolute zero, I want it on ABS, and I'm going to go ahead and hold down the on button, and then hit it again, and now our absolute zero is set. 
Now I can move this. And right now it's in millimeters. Let's touch that again. Inches. And we are exactly two inches. Now to make a test cut, let's put it somewhere. Let's set it to one inch. So now it's the time for the moment of truth. Got this turned on and zero. All right, let's flip it around and try the other side. Pretty darn close. And that is because I have the back of my table saw fence kicked out ever so slightly just to keep it from binding. So that is more than good tolerances for me. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. This is actually one of the easiest Wixie gauges that I've installed so far. Um, you saw how easy it was to install on the saw stop. I'm sure I'm gonna get a ton of use at it. If you have any questions or comments, be sure and leave them below. I try to check them daily and respond back to all of them. And if you have any videos that you would like me to do, please leave that in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.